just for a brief few seconds, what do you think this picture depicts? Our applications are getting more and more complex as our needs get bigger and bigger, and especially around cloud native and with the architectures like microservices, one application can have tens, if not hundreds of services that make up that application. If I look at this, and I suppose this is probably where it comes into it, that if we do deploy our applications and it has multiple services within it or multiple components, all's okay as always if everything runs as it should do. But nothing works like that in our world. A lot of issues can happen, and when they come up, what are we going to do? You know, if something's wrong with performance, if some bug happens out uh, in one of the services, how are we going to track that down? And it's become more and more difficult. I suppose initially we worked around logs. When you have distributed so many services, you need more than this. And this is where observ observability or observation techniques come in. And the ability to collect other uh, types of telemetry data like uh, metrics and tracing, etc. This is the key to when we need to look at any issues we have, look at the behavior, look at the performance, and try and track down what has happened, and then also predict the reasons why this happened. There are many tools out there, but for you as a user, what this means to you is all these choices that have all different ways of configuring, uh, creating the data, sending the data, etc. it leaves you sometimes a bit muddled, number one, or number two, it leads to lend, uh, vendor lock-in. But as we're progressing with cloud technologies, and especially, uh, people don't want vendor lock-in anymore. The ability to change as, as you would has led to people to ask for standards. One of these standards has been open telemetry. All the industry leaders have come together this time and said, right, we want one standard. This is why we now have a standard that is really going to last, and we have good buy-in from all the vendors, non-vendors, and the other industry leaders in the world. And the goal behind that is, it's for you as the user of your applications to say that, right, if there's a standard there, the pressure comes on all the vendors, non-vendors, and all the backends to say, right, I need to support uh, this standard. I think the other part of this has been around the framework and tooling. The last bit then, as I say, is all of this means nothing if you can't observe the data afterwards. I think in Stan, I did a lovely piece where they have this beautiful diagram of an iceberg. You know in an iceberg, the piece over the water is only the small piece. The big piece is right underneath the water. They made the analogy here that the piece above the water is monitoring, but the piece below the water is the observability. Because Morrison might tell you where the issue happened or what's going on somewhere, but you somehow need to know how did it happen, why did it happen, so that you can figure out how to fix it and it won't happen again. A big part of this is defining the protocol. And this protocol is called the Open Telemetry Protocol. And, you know, it's a general purpose telemetry data delivery protocol. Now that we have an idea of what the specification and what Open Telemetry has been trying to do and to provide for you, which is an ability to be vendor neutral and, uh, or vendor agnostic so that basically you can use one to many of uh, different backends. In Instana, we support uh, open telemetry at early days to support our customer's journey on open telemetry. We make our Instana agent to be compatible with uh, open telemetry collector, which means it can directly ingest open telemetry format metrics and traces and it will do the translation again to the Instana format and send to Instana backends. And in this case, uh, thanks to Instana agents, it knows which application sends the data to it, so it knows which infra it is it, so we can do the infra correlation for you. And then we support open telemetry metrics ingestion in this model as well. Uh, we have de developed a third model in this case, we have our Instana specific one, uh, collector exporter. So when you build your uh, open telemetry collector, you import our Go module and build it, then it can send to Instana. More and more of our customers are using serverless. So I to also support that.